Iran's armed forces staged their annual parade across the country on Saturday. The parade is held every year on the day Iraq started an eight-year war against Iran in 1980. During the parade Iran displayed its latest missiles and drones, including the Shahid 136B drone and the Fatah hypersonic missile. An older version of the Shahid drone has been reportedly used by Russia during its war with Ukraine. Russia has been receiving Iranian-made Shahid drones since 2022. Iran has denied sending drones to Russia since the war started. During the parade, Iranian President Masoud Pazeshkian addressed the crowds. If we are united, if we join hands, Israel the usurper will not be able to commit the crimes it's committing now in the region, said Pazeshkian. No evil has the courage to even harbor the idea of invading our soil in their mind, Pazeshkian added. اگر ما وحدت داشته باشیم اگر دست به دست هم بدیم اسرائیل قاسم قادر نخواهد بود این جنایت ها را این گونه که در منطقه داره پیاده میکنه پیاده میکنه پیاده میکنه هیچ اهریمنی جسارت این که تفکر این که بخواهد به خاک عزیز ما تجاوز کند در ذهنش هم نمیتونه تصورش رو ایجاد بکنه European Commission President Ursula von der Leyen inspected a generator that had been provided to the bloc to Ukraine as winter approaches. That happened during her visit to Kiev on Friday. Von der Leyen arrived in Ukraine earlier in the day focused on helping the country to repair and reconnect its war-damaged electricity grid and boost its heating capacity as winter approaches. Around half of Ukraine's energy infrastructure has been destroyed during its war with Russia, and rolling electricity blackouts leave parts of the east in darkness for four hours at a time. Von der Leyden said it was as though all of Latvia, Lithuania and Estonia had lost electricity. Meanwhile, winter is approaching. The main aim is to help Ukraine decentralize its power grid, and to become less reliant on the big power stations that make easier targets for Russian forces. Around 260 missiles rained down in a major attack on energy infrastructure late last month. The Europeans have already sent more 10,000 generators and transformers, and they're supplying small and more mobile gas turbines too. These types of electricity providing equipment is harder to hit and easier to repair. Ukraine's winter runs from late October through March, with January and February the toughest months. The Europeans hope to help supply around 25% of the 17 gigawatts of power that the country is likely to need this winter. One aim of the EU assistance is to provide an incentive for people to stay in Ukraine. 
Some 4 million people have fled since the war began in February 2022, often to Poland and other neighboring countries. The EU is providing assistance, such as short-term help to find a place to stay, jobs or education. But recently the number of people leaving has climbed. The Commission, the EU's powerful executive branch, estimates that 10,000 more people are applying for help each week. Thanks. Thank you. 